Hey guys, welcome to uh, a slightly late running behind Make With Me Monday. Um, stuff's happening. Um, I'm not actually making today. We're getting close to Christmas and I'm kind of winding down on what I'm making, but I still wanted to do a live with you guys today and show you how I organize my labels. Um, I don't have a retail store. So if you have a retail store, this is probably not going to be a useful system for you. But if you're still a small maker, you're still doing vendors markets and stuff like that. Um, maybe this will work for you. Now I don't use rolls, uh, labels that come, come on rolls. Um, I use sheets and I have a ton of sheets. I get them all from online labels and I can, um, leave a link to, um, to, to online labels, but you can get online labels on Amazon as well. Um, they have free templates that you can download with PDF files so you can easily download those. And that's what I use. Um, there's pros and cons to that. I mean, with rolls stickers, you're going to have a ton. Um, doing sheets allows me to have individually made labels and I do my own graphic design. So that's great. I can have every, um, every Miss Scandalous on every page. She has a different color of hair. She has a different color of, um, fingernails and lipstick. So being my own graphic designer allows me to customize that. But that also means that when I'm looking for a label, I have so many sheets to go through and organize. And as a result, a lot of times I end up printing the same page multiple times. Which, you know, nothing is more stressful than like in the heat of the moment. You need to find that label and you can't find it. So um, I organize mine in these three ring binders. And I'm going to pull this back a little bit so you guys can see. And I don't normally do them in here. I'm just in here today um, in the soap room um, so I can spread them out. And also so that you don't see my children or hear them fighting with each other in a loving way. Um, but I use, I've expanded now to have this third binder. So this is my third one and this is the one we're gonna work on a little bit today. Um, but I started off with just one. And this one now has all my soap labels in it. And I use baseball court card organizers and my labels just slip right in there and they fit. And um, that allows me to have something like this, which we'll look at this in a second, where um, I've labeled everything that I've made and I have ready. And then I just have a few that don't have um, a product yet. I don't want to throw them away because they're they're not wasted. Um, but at the same time, keeping an entire page for four labels is irritating because it goes into the stack and then I never get through the stack um, or I won't find it when it's in the heat of the moment and I really need it. So I have all for my soaps um, and that's easy because my soaps are all square and I love that they're all rectangle and square. That's so easy. That works so good. Um, in the pink one, I have my bath bombs and um, it's not perfect because my bath bombs also use um, some of them use these, but most of them now use uh, round labels. And so I can easily have all of my bath bomb labels ready to go. Um, that way, even if I only print um, a limited edition of something, um, I'm going to print the full sheet. Cause, uh, so I used to... <laughs> I used to try to be really chinchy. Oh my gosh, I pulled these out of the thing, so hold on, let me fix it. I used to try to be really chinchy and like only print, so if I only needed um, six of these, I would print, you know, six, and then I would try to, you know, print a few more of something else I needed here and there, and then like try to mix and match on one page. Um, and that was good because, you know, if I had one page left, I could do that. So that was fine for that. But um, over time, I realized it didn't save me any more time because I was just going to make the product again and just need more labels. So it's just worth it to me to print the whole page um, and then to go back and organize it later. Now, a lot of times, especially for soaps, I'm going to use two or three pages in one go. But then that gives me the freedom, like I said, to have just two or three used off of a sheet and um, because I've already made a ton and it's not gone to waste. So I actually had um, my <laughs> my younger son had a friend over and they um, they are 11 and 10. So that's like a really good age still where they're still like gullible and they still think what you do is fun and cool. 
So I was able to convince them to um, take the sheets that I had pre-weeded. Weeding is a term uh, when I worked at a print shop and we did vinyl signs. So weeding is when you're like removing the excess part that you don't need. So uh, I pre-weed them. So I pull off the excess part I don't need. Um, I was able to convince the little buggers to cut them for me and to stick them into, they even alphabetized them for me. And I, I paid them, I believe I paid them nine dollars total uh and they were watching home alone anyway so it was like you know they were just sitting around watching tv and i got them to cut the labels for me um the other thing that i'll do sometimes is i'll just cut the labels um while my husband and i are watching tv at night so that um i don't know if you're like me but i feel like if i'm ever sitting still that like that's wasted time. I just, I, I, that's a bad habit for entrepreneurs. Um, but I just, it's something that's very hard for me to break where I feel like if I'm sitting still, I'm wasting time. So even though, um, you know, it, it may not seem to be the most efficient thing, right? Cause I have to go back and I have to cut the labels. Um, I love it when I'm filling an order and, um, I, I go to put an item in a box and, um, it doesn't have a label on it and instead of having to go to my printer and print a brand new label I already have it there prepped and ready to go so that is why I started doing this um, and I tried a few different systems so I tried my stacks if you're an ADHD person talk to me about your stacks how are your stacks doing right now during Christmas my stacks are good my stacks are good um, <laughs> Uh, stacks are like a major issue. If you have any kind of ADHD, I know that you have stacks, okay? So I've tried the stack method. It's not very efficient. Um, and I have tried, um, I have tried um, my other business partner. She actually gave me this idea, not this specific idea with the, uh, with the baseball card hold, hold, the holders, um, but she would use little envelopes. Um, which was a good idea. That was a good idea. My problem with that is I need to be able to see it. So if I don't see something, it doesn't exist. Like it's gone. I don't, if it, I can't see it with my eyes, it, if it's inside an envelope that's not clear, then it doesn't exist. So then I tried it, uh, tried it. I tried it. The um, expanding accordion folders, those also did not work for me because as you can see, I ex successively make things. I have a ton of products and so that was just way too much for me to try to keep organized so um, that's when I started this so um, so this is all my bath bombs now and then these are all my soaps and then I also just opened up a new one and I suggest that you get different colors my husband he's adorable the first time I sent him to the store and asked him to get me two three uh two one inch binders or however big these are he got me identical ones which was sweet but like i have to be able to tell them apart so and um, my my closet is color coordinated so my soaps and bath bombs might as well be color coordinated too and i might as well get colors that are pretty that i like um so yeah so these um right now have my bubble bars because it's a fairly new product for me um and then i have my body butters which are right there and then i just started my shower steamers getting those organized so that's i'm just going to show you like a few more of these i mean you've kind of seen how i do it but this is also good if you have a back label and a front label so um to weed it i guess i'll show you how to weed it to weed it i just pull up a side and then i make sure that i'm pushing down on the first couple ones because those are going to try to come up and then you just want to like literally pull it down and straight across. That's going to help you prevent getting any of those little um, stickers that pop up. And then, I mean, it's not necessary to weed it. This is just probably my OCD. <laughs> Um, and then I find things like, okay, this is like a pony, which is a bath bomb one. So that can actually go, that can actually, oh, see that guy came up, that's cool, just popping back down. That can actually go over here and get done with the bath bombs. Um, but this way I always have them ready to go. I don't have to worry about them not being ready. 
I will post links to everything I'm using, but it's not, I mean, it's baseball cards, <laughs> three ring binders, and um, I can link all the different types of stickers that I use. Uh, eventually, Amanda has a freaking awesome um, label vault for soaps. And I was telling her that we definitely need something like that for bath bombs. So that is hopefully something that we can also get going eventually for bath bombs, is a label vault for bath bombs, um, where you can edit the template and it will um, do global changes for you on the design so you don't have to sit there and try to click every single item that you need to have edited. You just change the name on it, put your logo in, and it's ready to go. This one's a soap, so see how they get all disorganized? So I would basically go through, I would weed everybody out, and then I'm actually looking for the Orange You Glad. These are not in alphabetical order yet, and actually I don't know. I don't know. I'm only going to have like a few because I have six flavors of steamers. What do you call steamer? I mean, my customers call them flavors, so that's why I call them flavors. People laugh when I say that, but I'm like, that's customers ask you, like, do you have any other flavors? So, like, I'm just going to use the lingo of the people. I'm not trying to change it. But. Yeah, I thought that, it, and honestly, like, I was really backed up <laughs> on this. I was, like, really backed up. And fortunately, I just made a bunch of steamers, so I have a bunch of steamer labels that needed to be done. Um, but I had a stack that was, like, that thick from Halloween, um, and I paid two strapping young children uh, $18 total <laughs> to make that problem disappear for me. So uh, that's, I mean... You know, the other thing is that you could just do it while you're sitting around um, watching TV in the evening. Then you feel like you've actually done something. If you're like me. But, so if you're like me too, like I can't, I, I can't throw this page away. I could not throw this page away if there was one good sticker left on it. Even though, even though I, I just, I don't know. I don't know why. So I would have held on to that page and it would have created clutter. That's one of the things um, I specifically know as someone who legitimately does have ADHD, right? Clutter um, makes it worse for me. So I really have to create systems that keep myself organized. <laughs> I've had more than one person comment that they love how organized my space is and I love that I can trick you guys and make you think that it's organized like that. But really, uh, this is a forced order that I have to put on myself um, to, to keep the chaos from just completely taking over um, because I know that I'm prone to, um, I'm prone to, to, to disarray. Um, and then the other thing is I make less mistakes. I, I find that I make less mistakes um, when I stay organized. It helps me stay calm, um, which makes things go smoother. So even though I wouldn't say I'm a naturally organized person, uh, like my mother was a naturally organized person and we would joke, we would pick on her and say that she had to schedule her uh, spontaneous time right because like she was just such an ordered organized person I did not get that from my mother I instead got my father's personality he and he is a, a blues and jazz musician and that's what I picked up from him so I did I did not get the uh, the organized ordered person but if you if you're uh, if you're a jazz blues person at heart you know, you get you need to find yourself a partner in life who can who can be your solid rock who's organized. And uh, for for me, my husband does a great job like helping things maintain order. And uh, when it comes to my workspace, I've learned from watching other people who are super organized how to stay organized myself. Um, which is why I'm just passing this along to you to see if it helps anybody. Now, like I said, if you have a retail store, this is not going to be a great solution for you, right? Um, or I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. 
Um, if you have a retail store, it's probably not a great solution for you, but if you are running like a small, um, a small pop-up uh, based business, um, or you're just, you know, selling online, stuff like that, this is probably a, a solution that would work for you. So I have the Orange You Glad, the round front label, and then I have the Orange You Glad back label, and I can put them both in there. And then I don't get things like this, where I said, oh, do I have that label? Flip through my stack. I don't have that label. I will print that label. And then, and then I said, another order comes in and I say, do I have that label? I thought I had that label. I flipped through my stack. I do not find that label. I print that label again until you have something like this. And this, that are all for the same product, <laughs> which was a limited time product. So I printed three sheets extra for something that was supposed to be a limited time product. And so now I just have them. I'm gonna keep them forever. I'm not gonna give them up because dang it, I might make that thing again. But <laughs> it's, it's, uh, that's just a good indication to me that I was on the edge of uh, chaos and that's why that was happening because I was not getting my organization on like I needed to. Um, like I said, eventually I would love for us to have a label vault um, to show you guys how our, our even uh, perhaps um, to show you guys how I make labels. Um, that would be something that you know we can look into possibly doing the difficult part for me is that i i don't know i mean i'm gonna have to practice teaching it because there's a lot of it that's like i just have done it so long that i don't even have to think about it anymore um, and so it would not necessarily be like the easiest thing for me to teach but i understand that there's a need for that for people to at least be able to make basic labels for themselves and so that may be something that in the future um, we look into doing but um yeah i understand though i mean i understand that there's like a huge need for seeing how how do you go from a blank page or a sticker to um you know a logo and then a logo that's um structured correctly with all the things that you need in it like i understand that that's a a huge need and and for my biz I, I'm at the point I'm close to the point where I have a, a few friends that do graphic design um, and I have thought about hiring them out to do kind of s smaller graphic design jobs for me um, but I, I, I understand that I save a ton of money as a maker being able to do my own graphic design um, and so I, I told trust me I get that that is something that um, would benefit many many people so it's definitely something that we'll look into doing. Um, but yeah, there you go. And I just will kind of sit there and do that and get all those little guys organized. And then when I have a product that needs a label like this, one second. Of course, I have nothing that, does, that needs a label at this moment. When I have something that needs a label, I would pick the one thing I don't actually have ready. I would um, already have the page ready. I'd be able to do this back label. I could come in here and do his front label. And then that'd be it. That little guy would be ready and I wouldn't have to go print a new sheet. And then if I did print a new sheet, um, I would just put it in my, my stack to do in the future. But that's not, um, it's not, I don't think that it's like outside the realm of feasible for makers to, to do this. I mean, if you have a better way, I love to see other ways that people do it. And this is not the first version of um, how I've organized my labels. I've had several different versions of how I've organized my labels. This is just how I'm currently doing it. And I, I like the way I'm doing it right now. 
what the heck happened. I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, you can see I have a ton of labels. You can see I have a ton of labels. Um, so yeah, that's, um, sneaky, sneaky Sasquatch is what just happened. So I don't know if I lost you guys or not, but, uh, sneaky Sasquatch opened up on my phone. I don't know why. Um, if you don't know what Sneaky Sasquatch is, it's a game in the Apple Arcade. And I don't know why it opened, but it did. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to do a quick little live with you and show you how I organize my labels. I'll quit cutting this one up in just like a second and then scroll through and see if I see any questions that I can answer. Um, I will post links. I mean, there's not a lot of links to post with this, but I will post links. I guess I could post the link. I use a, um, a brother, uh, color laser printer. Um, that was, I think I want to say two years ago, uh, when I started Scandalous, my friend Shannon suggested that I get a, a color laser printer and I was really hesitant to do it and I'm telling you it was like the best thing I've ever done probably not ever but one of the best things I could ever have done uh, for my company was to get a color laser printer because I, I man I did not ever I do not ever have to worry about um, I did not ever have to worry about ink like I fill my toner maybe once a year uh, maybe once every nine months it just kind of depends um, but it's and it's expensive when I fill it but I would rather do that than just constantly being like I, I don't have the things that I need so um, this is the playing with my peaches which I just cut and I will go through to the peas and just, okay, little boys, little boys organize this for me. <laughs> so, okay, there we go. Oh, okay, I see what they did. They're so cute. They went into the R's. Okay, well, I'll fix that in a little, in a little minute. But yeah. Now, the one thing that I do have to say, I, I don't uh, store them like this. I store them this way. And if, if I turn this upside down, these ones at the top are prone to slide out. But like, then don't do that. <laughs> like okay, okay so I just don't do that um but yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> as far as like don't do that then if it hurts you know doctor it hurts when I poke here here and here then like don't do that just saying okay let me see if there's any questions um yeah so Sheila says that you have pages of stickers everywhere it's like, it's just super annoying. You have pages, stickers everywhere, stacks of stickers. Um, you can never find the one that you want. Um, and then if one of them has an error or a mistake on it, and that needs to be the one that's tossed, it's, it's harder to do it. You know, you might see it and then you're just like, it's hard to see. Um, uh, Larissa says that you put yours in a regular sleeve protector with the full sheets and it saves you time from cutting. That's true. Um, I think that I did that originally. I can't see more because Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I think that like my, where's my body butters? My body butters are still like that. Um, but that's because I have less of them. Um, and the labels for those are a little bit different so that it's a little bit harder for me to cut it. And then these labels are also waterproof. So you can see like they're the, um, so I don't really want to be like, you know shuffling them around as much as you would when they're in the things but yeah you could ask you could do that as well um so that was that's one way to also do it is to keep them in these are just like page dividers with sleeves but it works as like a page protector basically um let's see if there's any more questions um this says with the christmas rush you're gonna have to get set up as uh, to set work hours for yourself now yeah it's hard with the christmas rush um <laughs> whip says organize and know you're fresh out of organization yeah it's it's hard but you know this is a good time of year i usually spend like january february like reorganizing 
things, uh, revamping my labels, making any kind of edits that I needed need to make. Uh, like I have a massive thing I have to go through all my labels. I moved this summer, so everything that was made uh, before the move was fine with the address that was on it. But and I've tried to be dig uh, vigilant about changing my address, but you know I have a bunch of labels that are going to need new addresses and stuff like that. So uh, January, February is a really good time of year to do that. So. Um, and Becky's asking if I print my own labels. So yep, I do print my own labels. Um, I mean, you could do this as well if you get yours printed as sheets. Uh, you're probably gonna have less products though if you're getting them printed as sheets or you have them on the rolls. So that would be a different storage um, thing. And then you could use uh, like a pole the way people organize ribbons. You know, you could do it like that. Um, and Larissa says that you do this too. It's also really good. <laughs> Josephine says it's so elaborate. It does feel like it's really elaborate. Um, I, I have to do this for myself because I'm a little bit extra on things. So like if it's not organized, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna lose it. So it's, uh, it's just easiest for me to do it like this. But, and then the, you know, the other thing is that I had some that were printed from last year because I started doing this, I had some that were printed from last year that I was able to just, when I came into the holiday stuff, be like, oh yeah, I'm making that one again and I have it right here and I can just print it. So that was like another really awesome thing. So um, anyway guys, I will put in the links for just some of the different suggestions that I've uh, mentioned today. And if you have a different way of organizing it, you know, uh, post a picture in the comments because I want to see that, yeah. Bye guys, happy making.